Lesson 8.6, Part B, The Binomial Theorem. The Binomial Theorem. Wow, that looks complicated. Well, let's break it down. So this is a plus b to the n. So that's a, a binomial, and we're raising it to some exponent. So this is like x plus 3 cubed or something, is all of this. The important one to recognize is that. And we start with r equals 0, right there. And we can, so we have ncr. Well, n is up there as your exponent. And the c is a combination. a is the first part, b is the second part. And you put it in with r equals 0. And then you put plus, and then you write the whole thing again with r is 1. And then plus, and the whole thing again with r is 2. Until n and r are the same. We can simplify this into a summation. The big E looking thing means to sum, means you add. So you start with the 0 for the r, and then you put a plus, and you put a 1 for the r, and then you put plus, and then you put a 2 for the r until you get to n for the value of r. All right, so we're going to try number 48. We're going to expand c minus 4 to the fifth. Now, just for reference, that'd be the same thing as c minus 4 times c minus 4 times c minus 4 times c minus 4 times c minus 4, which will take you a long way to do it. You're going to think the binomial theorem is long, but believe me, it's much shorter than this other way. All right, so our little formula was n c r a to the n minus r b to the r. In this case, n is 5, a is c, and b is negative 4. All right, so we're going to start with this. So n is 5, c, r is, starts at 0, a is c, and it's raised to the n minus r, b is negative 4 to the r. Plus, now it's exactly the same thing, just put a 1 instead of the 0. Plus, now the same thing, just put a 2 instead of the 1. Plus, oh, it's the same thing, now just put a 3 instead of the 2. Plus, oh, it's the same thing, just put a 4 instead of the 3. Plus, oh, it's the same thing, now put a 5 instead of the 4. And then we stop because n and r are now the same value. So now it's just a matter of simplifying. So it's just a pattern. All right, 5c1 is 1. So that would be c to the fifth, and anything to the 0 is 1. 5c1 is 5. This is c to the 4, and then negative 4 to the first is negative 4. 5c2 is 10, this would be c cubed, and negative 4 squared is 16. 5c3 is also 10, c squared, and negative 4 cubed is negative 64. 5c to the 4 is 5, be c to the first, Negative 4 to the 4th is 256. 5c5 is 1. So that would be c to the 0, which is 1. And then negative 4 to the 5th is negative 1024. All right, last step, put it together. So we have 1 times 1 is 1, c to the 5th. 
So that would be a minus, because 4 times negative, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, c to the 4. Then we have 10 times 16, c cubed. Then we have 10 times negative 64, c squared. Then we have 5 times 256, it's 1280, c to the first, then minus 1024. Look at that, three steps. That's way faster than uh, multiplying each of those together. It should take four multiplications, which you'd have to do multiple times multiple steps in each one of those. This is way, way, way shorter. All right, let's do another one. Let's do number 51. All right, so the w cubed is the a, the negative 3 is the b, the 4 is the n. Remember, it's n, c, r, a to the n minus r, b to the r. So our n is 4, r starts at 0. a is w cubed, and it's to the n minus r, and b is negative 3 to the r. Now just copy the same thing down, just replace the zeros with 1's. And then put it again, this time make the R 2. Everything else stays the same. And then do it again, this time make the R 3. And last time make the R 4. And I know this is the last time because N is also 4. So when N and R are the same number, we're done. And then it just comes down to simplifying. 4C0 is 1. That would be W cubed to the fourth. Uh, when I have exponent, parenthesis, exponent, you multiply those, so that would be W to the twelfth. And anything to the 0 is 1. 4C1 is 4. So now that's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And a negative 3. 4C2 is 6. All right, that's 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So this is W to the 6th. And negative 3 squared is 9. 4C3 is 4. Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, so this is W cubed. And negative 3 cubed is negative 27. 4C4 4 is 1. All right, 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0, so this is W to the 0, which is 1. And then 3 to the 4th is 81. Negative 3 to the 4th is 81. Now we simplify. 1 times 1 is 1. W to the 12th. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. W to the 9. 6 times 9 is 54. W to the 6th. 4 times negative 27 is negative 108 w cubed, and 81. All right, pause this. Will you try number 47? When you're done, you should have x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. All right, what if we don't want the entire thing, though? We just want one of the terms. So number 56 here, we want to find the coefficient in the x to the 4 term. 
Well, looking at this, a is x, b is negative 3, and n is 7. And our little pattern is n, c, r, a to the n minus r, b to the r. So let's kind of fill things in. n is 7. I don't know what r is. X is or a is x, n is 7. I don't know r. b is negative 3. I don't know r. However, I want to know the x to the 4 term. Well, here is the part with the x. So notice the exponent there is 7 minus r. So the exponent should be the same as the 4. So you could probably figure that out pretty easily. r is 3. So let's plug in a 3 for the r. And solve it. 7c3 is 35. That's x to the fourth, like we were expecting. And negative 3 cubed is negative 27. Multiply that stuff out, we get negative 945x to the fourth. So what's the coefficient? The coefficient is negative 945. Why don't you try number 55? Pause this while you figure it out. You should get negative 8,064.